X-37B missions have continuously advanced our nation's space capabilities by testing new technologies that reduce risk and inform our future space architectures. Mission 7 is no exception. We launched for the first time on a Falcon Heavy into a highly elliptical orbit. This mission is supporting the Space Force conducting radiation effect experiments and the testing of space domain awareness technologies. We've completed our time in this highly elliptical orbit and have started executing a series of maneuvers called aerobraking. This allows us to change our orbit around Earth and safely dispose of the service module components in accordance with the recognized standards for space debris mitigation. In general, when a satellite maneuvers, it's going to use its thrusters to execute one or multiple burns to get from its initial orbit to whatever target orbit it wants to get to. Every time it burns, it's going to use delta V and expend propellant. If that satellite's going from an orbit with an apogee that's really, really high, near geo, to a lower orbital regime, it can spend a few thousand meters per second at delta V. When we aerobrake, we utilize atmospheric drag to effectively step down our apogee one pass at a time until we get to the orbital regime that we want to be in. When we do this, we save enormous amounts of propellant. That's really why aerobraking is important. I'm extremely proud to be part of this team that is delivering this first-of-a-kind capability. This accomplishment is yet another example of the X-37B's ability to conduct novel demonstrations that provide critical value to the U.S. Space Force.